What's up, everyone? Welcome to this week's extended discussion. Um, I wonder if Baba Vanga predicted that we were going to be doing this right now. That two guys in their 30s were going to be talking about her. You said in your 30s like it's a recent development. Uh, no, no, I just, I, I don't feel like I ever give you a hard time about it. No, I, but... I enjoy being in my 30s. I feel, I feel wiser. <sighs> Why? I feel, don't you feel good? Don't, wait, don't you feel young? No, I feel old. I feel really? like I'm dying. You don't feel young still? Uh, no, not quite. Really? That's okay, though. I still feel very young. I feel like I look young. I mean, all the kids tell me, call me Mr. Leopold all the time, so I feel like that does something to it, you know? I don't, yeah, it's true. I'm not, I'm not called Mr. Anything. Mr. Nothing. I, I don't know. I still feel like I'm 18 when I go around places. Like I'm just loitering everywhere I go. Mm. Not that you are loitering everywhere you go if you're 18. But that's, <laughs> that's... No, you probably are. Mm. You're not going to buy. Uh, oh, you said, I see you convinced me to do the Starbucks thing. No, I just bought this with money. I have so many here. I'll show you all. This isn't the type of intro you were expecting. but um, So this is where I'm at for Starbucks for Life. I got two for Starbucks for Life. I got two for six months. One for Delta flights. Two for 1,000 stars. One Wait, for 500. Since we talked about this on Thursday? No, since I started doing this. I got... Oh. My thing is, it's cooking. Look at that. Look at that. And I like Dunkin' Donuts, too, and I've gotten Dunkin' Donuts, too. I, I, don't I, I got Dunkin'. coffee in my veins. I'm not a fan of Dunkin'. But, but today, we're talking about Baba Vanga. We're talking about predictions. The uh, Bolgan Nostradamus. <laughs> don't sit there Tyler with his blue juice. Blue <laughs> juice. It's not juice. It's Neo. Um, from Macedonia, Yeah. North Macedonia. North Macedonia. She doesn't associate with the South Macedonians. Right. Um, which I don't know. I I can't not associate Macedonia with Alexander the Great. I hope um, blue soft drink. You know, in the South they call that's a blue Pepsi. That's a blue, that's Coke. A blue Coke. Oh my God, you get you get killed for that. Blue Pepsi. Blue. Yeah. Ah uh, no. That was a thing at one point. It's a blue thing. Coke. I know it's clear Pepsi. Have you ever had that? No. No, I'm actually I'm not doing the fifteen percent, twelve, eight percent body 8%. fat thing. But I am I am going hard body karate right now, and I'm feeling better. I'm feeling less inflamed, and I'm happy about it. And I'm getting support from the family, which is what matters. That's good. Um, but I hope everyone's had a good week thus far. I hope you were able to get through the episode. And um, it was a long one. So it was unedited, an hour and a half almost, right? It was an hour and twenty one. Yeah, unedited. Thankfully, so he cut. Could... There was even some stuff when I was listening back. I was like. It might have actually been the Star or Star uh, Starbucks stuff. There was something I was listening to where I'm like, man, I've it was like topic tangent, side tangent, other side tangent, and then you <laughs> brought up something, and then we went back into, it, and I was just like, should I cut any of that? You could have. I feel like once it's already over an hour, I feel like you're already like buckled in, right? Like if it was a, I think trimming a 45 minute episode to a 40 minute episode is different than an hour and 20 minute episode to like an hour and 35. I don't know. I, if you or an know. hour and 15, sorry. I don't Matt. know. Hmm. Those rapid fire predictions had me stressed. <laughs> that had me stressed. I, when I read it, cause you know, you read, you read in your head faster than you read out loud. So when yeah. I was looking at all those predictions, I was like, Oh, this is fine. This is easy. It won't be that bad. And I, and I knew once I was still in the two thousands and it was like three minutes in. Yeah. I was like, "Oh no!" It was like ten. Was it like ten minutes? <laughs> I don't. It was know. a long time. Charlie's head. I. You were like ready to explode. I was processed. I'm still processed. I listen at work nine hour days, so the longer the better. Perfect. I. I don't know if you noticed in the back half of the episode, I convinced you of something incorrect. You. I was like, you really talking about? I was talking about the disease that makes you old. I was like, I said oh. seconds and you said days. I was like, oh no, I think it's days. And you're like, oh yeah, I think that's right. Listen. But I was wrong. Um, they want to know what you're drinking. Uh, mocha latte. But you were 100% correct about Venus. Yes, I know. So you got to own that. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for when that ring comes. I'll show you. But no, I, I looked it up and I was like, Charlie, you were 100% right about Venus. So I'm very proud of you yeah. about that. I would have been mad if I would have conceded. Did anything. you see that it rained molten iron? I didn't see that. It rains molten iron. No. It's cr- Venus is, is harsh. 2023 about to be terrifying. <laughs> oh, I hope. Is that mean you are Lacey? Is that I what, think is that's that what the that like, yeah. announcement, like, this is who Lacey. I am? Lacey. Um, I like Burgundy. My friends called me Burgundy in college. No, we didn't. Not you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I... I had other friends. <laughs> I don't think it happened. No, it was Alex and... and uh, 
Eddie and Kat. I'll, I'll ask him. I'll ask him. It's <laughs> fine. I'll tell you. Um, so let's let's get into this. No, we didn't. Are there any predictions, theories that um, that stood out to you that you thought were interesting or BS? I couldn't find an article that had a quote from Baba Vanga about Trump. Oh. Probably because it was fake. Well, but. I feel like it was probably just... Do you think they just fake the whole quote? I think people can say anything and try and get it to rank. Mm. Isn't it not in journalism, though? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, that's correct. I feel like it was like a misquote or something. I'm, I should put it out there. Baba Vanga said BTB was going to get a million downloads in July of 2022. Wow. She is... knew. She what, what, what would be the, her phrasing for that? <laughs> um, a mediocre podcast... <laughs> I don't know. Mediocre Spookies <laughs> reaches the seven digits in... Before the seventh month is over. There we go. Yeah. July is seven, right? Yeah. Okay, they got it. Yeah. I want to know why there were two artificial suns. Well, because... Because the sun got cold. You need siblings. Do you? I don't know. I got along without it. And yeah. I'm perfectly normal. I think the first one was probably a test run. Or, or maybe it was a different nationality. Maybe the Euro Asians made the first artificial sun, and then the Afro Euro Asians made the third, the second one. I don't know. I feel like it has to do something with that, like the sun being colder kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they decided. I bet they came up with the idea of creating the second artificial sun while they were uh, examining the moon thoroughly. Yeah. The dark side of the Earth. Yeah. yeah. No, it was. Um, she she was wild. She was wild. Listen, she can say whatever the fuck she wants. She got picked up by a tornado yeah. and then dropped off How and high survived. Do you think she How high do you think she got? What if there? it was just um? What is it called? A dust dust, dust devil. devil? What if it was just a dust devil? I mean, that's still a tornado. Is it? Yeah. Could you? Um, imagine it forming right here and then you're just up, like. No. <laughs> what right here? I. Okay, legitimate question. If you okay, you knew you were safe, guaranteed. Okay. You knew without a shadow of a doubt you were safe. You were not going to get hurt. Yeah. Would you want to be? Would you want to be able to see a tornado in the distance? Yeah, sure. I don't really care. I mean, that'd be kind of neat. I don't know. I, I didn't really thought about it. What if you didn't know if you like? What if it wasn't guaranteed safety, but you were far enough away that you felt safe? <sighs> this is going to sound arrogant, but I've never been scared of a tornado. I could take a tornado. <laughs> I've never been scared of a tornado. I could take it. It's never been on my radar. Like, we don't have that kind of thing here, really. Um, we we have, do, but like rare. not like it's crazy rare. ones. And not like Tornado Alley. Tornadoes are crazy. It's a Midwest If thing. you live somewhere that deals with tornadoes regularly, like, I would say once a year we get a tornado warning or watch. But we are Midwest. We are Midwest, yeah. Um... I, I remember when you drove south one time, I told you to watch out for tornadoes. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. That was when you told me how many cars are always on the side of the road. There was a lot. There was a lot. Have you ever seen Twister or Men in Tights? That's... Oh, no. how have you never... Yeah, see, those were two references, oh. really. I can't remember the guy's name, but he's also... Listen, I really know him from Psych, but I knew that wasn't going to mm. work on you. I don't know. I just uh, haven't seen him. Um, you would If you saw him, you might know him. Um, but the idea of a tornado is just like, absolutely like, imagine it's dark out. You can't see anything. And then when lightning flashes is when you just catch it, like mm. coming, you don't know what angle. Cool. The, th when I think of a twister, I think of the Titan from Hercules. Uh, yeah, I think so. What? Yeah, I don't know. Um, Charlie, what predictions stood out to you? Which one do you, which one do you want to discuss first on this extended discussion? Mm. Let's go with the, the big one, the Twin Towers. Mm, the steel birds. Yeah, we didn't horror, really get into horror. it that much into the episode. In the bush. That's because I, I don't think, I don't know. It, <sighs> it's all bullshit. No, no. It's just, it's it's so almost blatant. Like It doesn't say, I don't believe it said the year though. So you, No, it didn't say the year. You have to put together the dots on when it is. That's true, but <sighs> I guess you could say it was also the 40s. But she'd already been... Well, I think she said that in the eighties. Okay, so it was, it I think happened. it was I think it was eighty nine when she said that. Let me let me read the exact quote because I have my notes right here. So what she said about nine eleven was yeah. horror, horror. The American brethren will fall after being attacked by the steel birds. The wolves will be howling in a bush, 
and innocent blood will be gushing. So when she says that, she knows that she's being like she she knows you have to interpret it. Like, yeah. I don't know if she's purposely being poetic, or hold on. I think of all the poor spiders I introduced to my vacuum. What? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, vacuum. Oh, tornado. Is that oh what we're yeah, it must be. Yeah. Mm. Why did her first two predictions have a poetic nature, but everything else is just like thing? Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. It's like, I don't know how she sees it, right? Like, it was said that when she looks at a person, looks at a person, yeah, it's like watching a movie with her life from birth to the end. But when she has a prediction about the future, that's not, you can't look at, right? you know, so it just must come to her. But I don't know why she uses that type of language, unless... I was joking that it was like a blurry image, like Bigfoot. Yeah. Right? Or like you're watching. It, she sees the world in PlayStation 1 graphics. She must She must do it so it can, can be interpreted several ways. But that's the thing. So then there's intention behind it where she's like, is she intentionally doing it that way to make us do the work of making it fit something that really happens? Yeah. She almost reminds me of um, like uh, the... Oracle of Apollo. Very um, poetic. Hmm. I don't know. I I like. I don't like that some of them were exact quotes and some of them were like, "This is what she predicted" or "This yeah. is what she said." I'm at like. <laughs> Matt, what if none of those last ones were like directly her? That's crazy. It could be that it's not clear to her either. That's true. Yeah. I, so, what do you think? I feel like the American Brethren, obviously, Steel Birds, we get that. The wolves will be howling in a bush, and innocent blood will be gushing, makes sense, mm-hmm. with the, the death. The wolves will be howling in a bush. So, do you want you want to go first, or you want me to go first? Go for it. So, what's the beat with that is, I think I mentioned in the episode, that, like, Bush was basically not a, the present for, like, 24 hours after, after the attack happened. And then... So they took Bush and they hit they hit him under like DC, and the wolves howling from a bush were like things that were said were were claimed to be said by Bush, but were not mm. from like Cheney. See, I'm wondering if the wolves are like the people who did it, and they're howling because they know Bush can't do anything. So like howling in a bush, kind of howling like in la- like laughter. Mm. Okay, like you can't do anything. I could see that, too. But that's the thing. It's like, I I don't know how many of y'all have sent listener submissions and how many of y'all have gotten back to, or DMs. I, like, go out of my way to try and be as clear, coherent, concise as possible. Like, my goal is my first email or message to completely alleviate the rest of your questions. She does not follow that rule. No. But I think that's, like, you... I mean, what if she would have said... If she would have said on September 11th, 2001 two planes are gonna you know fly into the twin towers then the people that were playing that they're like oh maybe we should do it you know the yeah tent. you know like well that comes back to um you know free will listen i i i cheated a little bit um i said when we started watching netflix horror movies that i wasn't gonna watch any netflix horror movies <laughs> but i took a day off okay um for the first time in like a year on friday or maybe it was Saturday. One of the days, I, I laid in bed and I watched two horror movies back to back. And wow. it's been the first time I've done that in a long time. Um, but one of the movies I watched was called Countdown. and uh, Oh, was that good? I liked it. Okay. I liked it. it um, but that's what it makes me think of because you can't... Once you know something's going to happen and you change it in that movie, bad things happen. Yeah. That's what it makes me think of. Another movie I watched is called Choose or Die. Oof. Oh my goodness. That one was... As good and as bad as you might expect it to be. I feel like the weird thing about that prediction to me is that the, she calls the planes steel birds. Like, you know what they are probably. Yeah. Logan, the last time we had a primary source was probably <laughs> when Charlie included the Travis... No, the uh, Barney and Betty Hill audio tapes. Oh, yeah. I feel like that was the last primary source. <sighs> that was a while ago, too, wasn't it? We'd be putting out one episode like every six months <laughs> if we relied on primary sources. Yes. Oh, unless you count Reddit and those stories. Yeah, those are fun. Yeah, those are primary. Um, uh, what about you? What's, what's one topic you want... Or not, uh, what's one prediction you want to talk about? Hmm. One prediction I want to talk about. 
the uh, the actress one was crazy because, like, oh yeah, I don't. Would you? Would you have told her? Maybe maybe it's almost like she doesn't have a filter, where she uh. can't like when she feels something or has to say something. She has because I ask you like once every few episodes. I feel like I'm like if you were in the situation where you knew something bad was gonna happen, would you tell someone? Like whether it was Ohio University, uh-huh. where I'm like, would you tell the like, would you if it was me as your roommate, would you mm-hmm. tell me that you saw someone in my bed, or like I did one recently with you and Steph, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I don't remember. But I asked you if you would tell Steph something. Oh, maybe it was if your house was haunted. It was um, it was a listener submission we did recently. But I asked you if you would tell, and you know, but that's like in this case, you're talking to an actress, you don't know her, she wants to get to know you or whatever, and you see that she might die in three months. You could just not tell her. Yeah. She wanted that street cred. <laughs> yeah, she wanted to call it. She's like Kobe. Um, Magic. I don't know. What would I? I feel like that's true. What's that, that she's Bul- Bulgarian, and some of the phrases might be lost in translation. I think she. Well, I don't know if she spoke broken English. She might have. I guess she never really needed to, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what language language she spoke. Magic. <sighs> That, that's a good episode, series design shirt. Magic. Into yeah. the empty hole. Into the empty hole. I love that episode. It was a good one. It was weird. Let's just all hang out here and I'll play it on my phone. We... Yeah, come on. For, for 50 minutes or however long it is. <laughs> um, man, it's been almost a half a year since we released those episode series designs. Yeah. If any, Remember, if anyone wants any hats or uh, duffel packs... Yeah, we duffel get, bags. We got you. you know, yeah, good gym bag. Those overnight, yeah, overnight travels or going to the gym, duffel bag. Um, what other interesting one? I got my notes right here. I'm going to flip through them. Uh, the uh, earthquake one in the underwater, that one already has heat because people think, I'll, I'll read it again. So a huge wave will cover a big, oh no, this is a separate one. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of the, the, sh- the submarine. Can I mention something really quick? Yep. Please. All right, so you know, you know the, the quick ones, the ones in the future. Yeah. She mentioned something about the underwater civilization. That's what Ben mentioned. That will become full utopian. Yeah. Did she mention those before? I don't think she did. She just kind of said that out of nowhere. Look at these. Look at this. Is my notes. Oh. This is what I read from. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. What was the? An unforeseen problem which will cause shortages of water all across Earth. Mm. Oh, here, 2304. Humans study the moon thoroughly. <laughs> I love that. I love that. These are the Euro Asian genome mixes with the African race, creating mm-hmm. the Afro Eurasian. <sighs> That's so cool. What about y'all in the, in the chat? Same with Mars. She just said Mars wants to take over Quebec. Are there are there any uh, theories or premonitions? Yeah, uh, Logan duffel bags, bug out bags. What is that? I'm not sure. What's a bug out bag? I have a theory. I think that's when like you freak out when you need to leave fast. Yeah, you could turn that duffel bag into a bug out for sure. I don't know what what's in a bug out. What do you put in a bug out bag? A hoodie, a shirt. A hat, gym shoes, a uh, a uh, mug, a survival bag. Oh, oh. put your big old knife in there. Big old knife. Do you have a big Gun. knife? Yeah, I got a fairy one over here. No, you have a big knife. That one's pretty big. I don't know. No, it's not. It's not that big. What do I need? Ni- I'm dude. You've seen my neighborhood. What do I need a knife for? I don't know. What am I gonna cut down? I'm gonna get you a big knife. I don't need it. All right. I don't want it. Let's just cut down all these dead ring lights over here. <laughs> Like a there ring, are several. It's a ring light cemetery up here. Oh, there's this real quick tangent. There's this company on TikTok that makes um, they don't make axes. They make giant swords to cut wood, wood with. It <laughs> looks really cool. Yeah. I'm like, what's the practical application for that? I mean, I guess cutting wood, which is not practical for me. So, but I still want one. You'll have to hunt the deer, in the event of a disaster like a zombie apocalypse. No, I don't think I'd want to. I don't think I wouldn't. I don't think I'd want to live in a zombie apocalypse. And you wouldn't hunt deer. I wouldn't. I don't know what I, I would hunt deer. I'd, I'd force it down your throat because I'd want you to survive. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> I'm finally losing weight. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> mm. The double drink. 
Let's go. Almost lost my cat. Oh, I, I put the candle on, by the way. Oh, so I thought I smelled white. <laughs> I thought I smelled white pumpkin. <laughs> Listen, if you if you're yeah, we mention it like all the time now the candles, but we we did get a sponsor. Yeah. You probably saw it on Instagram, Scent Air. Yeah. Go check them out. Scent Air, brought to you by Scents <laughs> and Air in the air. What's I don't said H two O, but that's water. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. So Baba Baba. I almost said. Is it Wagner? Vanga. 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 Baba Vanga. Isn't I? Wagner is a composer. I had Baba Vanga planned for over a month. What? It was just a matter of when I was gonna get to her. Wow. I saw an article and I was just like, "You gotta catch me in the moment." Like, not you, but, like, it. Yeah. Like, I will plan an episode forever, and I'll never do it like Hatman. Yeah. And I'll, like, or I'll be, like, I don't have time to do it. I don't, you know, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. And I'll be, like, randomly on Facebook, and I'll see something unique, and I'll be, like, that's next episode. Even though I had all these other topics planned. It's funny. Dude. I'm the exact same way. Like, I've had um, the Gulf Breeze sightings in my head forever. Mm. Forever. But, I mean, Ghost Ships came out of nowhere. Ha! <laughs> Yes, what do you know about Euroboros? I hope you enjoyed that, Tyler. Um, um, yeah. Oh, I just want to... There's a girl that sent us a thing on Instagram. Um, I think her name was Katie. She was from the UK. And I can't find... It's in her Instagram. I have no idea where it was, but it looks like an interesting like topic. And I'd, I'd like her to send it back again so I could find it. <laughs> Hit us up. I sincerely did. Good. Um... When were the solar flying trains supposed to be? What? I don't. Did I mention that, or did she? Or were you just hoping I, that it was gonna happen? I don't remember that. It's somewhere between thoroughly studying the moon and the colony wars, yeah. wars, more the wars on Mars, the Mars wars. It's like the Clone Wars. You think they're shooting bullets at that point, or they're shooting like lasers? What if it's just mind guns? Mind like, guns. Mind guns. Like you, don't, you don't need you don't need uh, you don't need weapons. Bullets? When you look at somebody and you think about what you want to do to them, it happens. Oh, uh, that wouldn't happen. It's not, it's too boring. I use um, yeah. Not it's fun. like when when the rock gives you the eyebrow, you get lifted up and then slammed down. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, you were never into wrestling, right? Not really. I was gonna ask you what you thought your finisher move might be. Um, you know what wrestling I did watch? I did Ross watch um that sci-fi wrestling. With um, CM Punk. Oh, ECW? Yeah, I watched that a little bit. All right. The People's Elbow. The People's Elbow. Such a silly. So, what do you think you do? You, and do well, you, you ended with Viable. I really yeah, I did too. it's probably skeptical. <sighs> it's hard. Although, I liked. The, I like. I think I went Viable because I liked the idea of. Like I don't know. There were a lot that were pretty crazy, like the 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 Indian president. Mm-hmm. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> Old lady Vanga kind of sussed. Um, Vangelia. So I actually like Vangelia better than Baba Vanga. I'd rather say Vangelia a million times over and over again. I don't know. I like the idea of mystics. Um, have I ever told you about my neighbor whose lawn I used to mow? Yes, you did. Have I ever said that on here? I think so, but you can say it again. Yeah, so I used to mow my neighbor's yard when I was like 13. And because there was an older couple and the gentleman had issues walking. And <clears throat> so I'd mow the lawn for like 30 bucks. And she would she had me go in her house to pay. And it was just, you know, older guys sitting down all these pills and stuff. And she was, she was like very, like, those aren't my pills, those are his. I'm like, I, I don't, I'm 14, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't care. care. Um, not the cops. But then she just went on this, she talked, she talked to me for like an hour about how there was a ghost in her house. Yeah. And it made her husband jealous, and she's like, he doesn't scare me. Sometimes I catch him looking at me. I'm like, he's a pretty good looking fella. And I'm just like, okay. And, uh, <laughs> um, and then... I went home, and then the next week or next two weeks later when I went cut, she talked to me outside about how she was like, I was going to go. She's like, did you do anything with your family recently? I was like, oh, we went to this festival um, in Ashtabula. And she was like, oh, I was going to that festival, but I had a feeling. Or she told me sometimes I had a feeling about how when she was going to go to a festival or go to something like that, she felt like something bad was going to happen. So then she didn't go or she changed her mind. 
and then um, there was a car accident at that area when she was where she would have been if she drove there. And then she started telling me about the ghost again and what it was doing in her house. And my, <laughs> my parents did not let me <laughs> go over there and mow the lawn anymore after that. Your parents are reasonable. If you're wondering, Tyler, if you're looking at my parents' house dead on, it's the house to the right. Here, here there. <laughs> I actually forgot about that for a long. There's probably so much stuff I've repressed. Probably. Didn't you live like next to a train track? Yeah. If if it's um, it, if I said there's two houses away, it would feel like it's much closer because it yeah. was, I live in a more rural area. Mm-hmm. But it was like my house, another house, a pretty sizable distance, another house, a little bit more of a distance, and then a train. I remember going on those train tracks because I had to turn around or something. Mm. Yeah. 30 bucks from on the lawn is good. It was good. And this that's is, a you good know, deal. this was 16. Well, that's a big lawn though, right? 16. I didn't go all the way back. Okay. It was 16 years ago. You just so. told her you did? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, they, they kept the grass high. Maybe they liked snakes. I don't know. Probably. It was like around the front yard and the side yard. That's not my, I'm not a, I'm not somebody. I was surprised that your parents made you stop. No, they were, they were concerned about the conversations that I was having with this lady and yeah. her bringing me into their house. <laughs> and here we are now. <laughs> I know. Thanks mom. Yeah. I have all these stories that I'd have. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna let that go. Yep. So, um, I don't know. Uh, okay. So, but the reason I brought that up is cause it was somebody that thought they could potentially see ghosts, ghosts, the future, you know, like that type yeah. of thing. Like as crazy as, the world is and as skeptical as I seem sometime I think the idea of a mystic isn't the craziest thing and it it lends itself to the idea of multiple timelines so that's why sometimes she sees things right sometimes she sees things incorrectly because maybe something triggers an alternate timeline and the fact that she got did get some things like really really close is what's weird to me yeah I feel like we should make predictions and just see if it's you know you can just wing it that would be a, a good control. But I guess it, what it would, the idea, when she started, when this started happening, I would love to know if, even if it's not true if she believed it, or if it was just uh, a gag the entire time. I do believe she believed it. That's what's important to me. Honestly, I care more that she believed it than I care whether or not it's real. Because if she believed it, then it was real to her, and it, then she's just getting lucky. Um, I would hate the idea that she did this just for the sake of, you know, notoriety or um, prevalence. I would hate that. Make one solid prediction right now. Go. The Browns will not make the playoffs. Oh, that's that's uh, that's weighted. It's uh, also true. I love that take on it too. The timelines. I need this not to be on. I need this not to be on the TL where her 20... Oh, I see. Yeah. All right. I'm going to make one, too. I'm going to guess in 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 five years, five years, Ohio will see the worst mosquito population it's ever seen. Mmm. Mmm. You got to say it more poetically. I, uh, the long nose uh, pinchies. I would say in, in five years, Ohio will... Drown in blood from the sky. Mm. Yeah. In three months, the uh, the elves, the the fae, because they're brownies. That's the, true. The yeah. fae will not enter the happy realm. <laughs> <laughs> the happy realm. Due to the predator of women. Oh Jesus. That's my... It's not his fault that we didn't make it, but he also did not help. Um, does anyone else have any predictions? <laughs> well, screenshot him. You'll, you'll get a mug if you can. <laughs> they have to be outlandish, though. Yeah. Um, no, I, I'll still go between skeptical and viable. What about you? Where do you want to change? How do you, how do you feel about Amityville? Where do you want to change? <laughs> uh, well, I still say it's still say viable. Good. Yeah. For the sake of Baba Vong. Bears definitely making playoffs. Listen, I when I quit my previous job. The Bears. When I quit my previous job, I had a cactus there. 
and I gave my cactus to an, an, a coworker who also randomly quit. Okay. And he, this, he's no longer there. The he cactus. Could, it's cactus is trouble being in charge of a cactus. I told him the cactus doesn't need much water. And he's like, well, how much water does it need? I don't know what not much means. I said, water that cactus after every time the bears win. <laughs> and I think it's just been just enough. <laughs> he's he's from Chicago. He's a Bears fan. That's so funny. He thought it was funny, but he's he told me it's been a minute since that cactus got some water. <laughs> but you keep you just cactus look at so thirsty. You just look at him like, but you got a great quarterback. <laughs> it's pretty good. We should just do it. Let's just do a football podcast. And it'll Bro. be it'll be like um I could riff on it. That's what I'm talking about. It'll be the knowledgeable person and then the person who just riffs. Ben would be good on it too. Yeah, Ben would be excellent. Yeah. Ben would be excellent, but um, yeah. So I think that's I think that's where we're gonna land on Baba Vanga. Fun fact: we already recorded next week's episode. Yeah, it's been in the chamber for a while. Yeah, we were hoping Apple Podcasts would promote it, and they uh, didn't. We, well, we don't know. They they never they they left us unread, but that's okay because you know what? Fuck Apple Podcasts. <laughs> I just put that on. I okay. am Team Spotify. I would be. It doesn't need to be Joe Rogan money, but if, if Spotify wanted to make a deal with us and make us exclusively to Spotify, I would jump all over that and uh, and y'all be listening on Spotify. Sneak preview. Uh, no. You want to give a little teaser? It is a Native American thing. It's a Native American thing. Yeah. Mm. If I must. My, my arm is twisted into it. It's not on, uh, or we'll be on Apple Podcasts. I have or nothing or... wrong. I have no problem with Apple Podcasts. Spotify just has it back. But I just don't know why Apple doesn't like us. Yeah. I don't know. Have we changed for them? Whatever. <laughs> I know we try. We cut our hair. Yeah. <laughs> shave. <laughs> put on nice cologne. Um, but so, uh, so we do have new merch out there. Got we got, makeup did. we got two. <laughs> We got two beanies. We got a baseball cap. We have a, a duffel bag, and don't forget the two posters. They are unbelievers. Um, <laughs> if you join our dedicated tier on Patreon before Thursday, you can and join our Discord. So yeah, okay. There's three steps. You got to two steps. You have to become our patron, dedicated tier, and then join our Discord, and then you can private Discord. And then you can have a chance to win our BTB beanie, the black one. Um, and every month we do a giveaway. Somebody's already won two prizes. Yeah. So it, it happens. But that's exciting. Is there anything else exciting? We got so next week's episode is gonna be a banger because we've been planning it forever. And it's, yeah, I haven't heard it yet, but it's uh, it's gonna be a banger. Um, any other upcoming news? Um, not that I could think of. Christmas is coming. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. When are we giving gifts? We're giving gifts. We're going to do it live, right? Is it on here or is it on our Hangout? It's going to be... Well, do you want to do it on the Hangout on Thursday? Or do you want to do it... Let's do it on an extended discussion. What? Let's do it on an extended discussion. So we can either do it the 20th or the 27th. I don't remember... Oh, I got the dentist on the 20th. All right, 27th. Yeah, I'll just go to the dentist again. Our next extended discussion, Charlie's going to be uh, at the dentist. Yeah. So During the extended discussion. No, you're going to be there at the dentist. Oh, it's going to fly. <laughs> yeah, he's going to... Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I can finally go to the dentist now. This is great. It's not fun, man. He's just, I'm just going to tell him to to take... Give me one of those long knives and tell him to just hack out yeah. all my teeth yeah. and just start from scratch. Just get dental implants. I would rather get punched in the face five times than go to the dentist. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, by, any, by Tyler Wright. By anybody. Okay. Okay. Well, that is our extended discussion for Baba Vanga. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you haven't listened yet, listen. If you're on Patreon, make sure you check out the quiz and play along. If you listened first, it's kind of cheating, but that's okay. Yeah, it was a fun um, quiz. I like that quiz a lot. Yeah. But everybody have a great week, and we will talk soon. Goodbye.